if I was an evil overlord, if I was the big supervillain of a story, here are things that I would and would not do. Should I actually decide to kill the hero in an elaborate escape-proof death trap room? You know, think about it, a room with water slowly filling up or, you know, sand pouring down from the roof or there are walls with spikes and they're converging on the hero. I will not simply leave the hero in the room and, and then just exit and assume everything goes according to plan. No, no, no. I am going to make sure I stay and watch the hero's demise. Of course, I will do it from a safe vantage point or from a nice monitoring camera. If I were an evil overlord, I will exploit my subjects, but not to the point of destitution, decrepitude, or desperation. I am evil, not stupid. If I am forced to make my escape from my fortress, then I will not pose dramatically and toss off a one-liner. What's up, y'all? My name is Mike Tenney. I am the host of Pop Culture Catechism, a podcast and YouTube show on Awaken Catholic, where we talk about music and movies and the longings of the human heart. We've covered everything from Cardi B to Taylor Swift to Springsteen to Britney Spears, the MCU, Harry Potter, Star Wars, the Umbrella Academy. If it's pop culture, we talk about it. So I hope you check out the channel. We have a great time. We talk about the faith. It's a good place. Hope to see you there. I will be secure in my superiority, therefore, I will feel no need to prove it by leaving clues to any master plan in the form of riddles for my enemies to find. My enemies are not entitled to a last kiss, a last cigarette, a last anything. They are entitled to get shot. My doomsday device will not employ a large red digital countdown timer unless it is absolutely necessary, and if it is necessary. The Doomsday device will activate at 10 minutes, not zero. Hello, my audience. This is Paul, and I am the Catholic Gaming Nerd. As you can see, I really love to play video games. On my channel, I like to review video games, but I also like to talk about Myers-Briggs and sometimes pull in some really silly stuff. If I were an evil Dark Lord, I wouldn't let the heroes go free if they won a rigged contest. I'm a fair and honest Dark Lord, and I'd want to make sure that my heroes know nothing but the truth. That they know the truth that I'm secretly better than them. I also won't gloat over how bad of a position they're in, that I'm the most powerful Dark Lord ever. I'll just kill them. And when it comes time to install air ducts in my new evil villains lair, I will make sure that my enemies cannot fit through them. So if I were an evil overlord, my dungeon will have its own qualified medical staff, complete with bodyguards. That way, if a prisoner suddenly becomes ill and his cellmate calls the guard like, hey, he's sick, he's dying. You know what? The guard will just simply fetch a trauma team, a highly trained trauma team, instead of just opening up the cells and you know, taking a look themselves. If I were an evil overlord, I will not hire one of the heroes, now cynical former flames, to infiltrate the rebellion. Even though, certainly, she would be accepted without question, she would no doubt instantly change her mind once she was given the chance to reminisce about the good old days. I will not use any master plan for which the final step is needlessly complicated. Nothing like, you know, align the twelve stones of power on the sacred altar, and activate the medallion during a solar eclipse and sacrifice a one-year-old all-black goat or something like that. No, no, no. Nothing corporately complicated. It will be something more like push the button. I will be neither chivalrous nor sporting. If I have an unstoppable super weapon, I am going to use it as often and as early as possible. Hey, this is Scott Smith. I'm a co-host of the Catholic Nerds podcast your source for quality Catholic nerdery. I'm also a Catholic author of Catholic nerd books like The Lord of the Rings and the Eucharist and The Theology of Sci-Fi, all of which you can find more of at my site, thescottsmithblog.com. Now here are my overlord resolutions. Regardless of the extra revenue and good PR that it might generate, I will not allow public tours of my fortress or any other important facility I own. Also, since nothing is more irritating than a hero defeating me with basic math skills, I will design all my personal sidearms to fire one more bullet than a standard. Hey, my name is Cody Reed. I'm co-host of the Catholic Nerds Podcast, your source for quality Catholic nerdery. 
And if I were an evil overlord, my legions of terror will be trained to dogpile hand-to-hand -hand opponents rather than attacking them in ones and twos while the rest stand around waiting their turn. They will also be trained so that they burst into a rebel headquarters and find it empty except for a strange blinking device. They will not approach it to investigate. Rather, they will run away as fast as possible. Hello, my name is Colby Allen, a co-host of the Catholic Nerds Podcast. I'm also a wannabe writer. You can visit my writings at colbytallen.com, where really I have not posted an article in about three and a half years. If I was an evil overlord, my chief of staff would be an eight-year-old, probably because they have better ideas than I do, and they could discover the foils within my plans before I even implement them. Also, if I was an evil overlord, I would implement a mandatory silent retreat day for families so that they have to eat dinner around the table together in silence, only communicating with nods and eye expressions. That way, if they were ever captured by the enemy, they could communicate without even needing words. Salve, brothers and sisters. This is Eric Dumont with Catholic Nerds Gaming, the sister channel to the Catholic Nerds podcast. I'm also the game master for our Dungeons & Dragons game, The Legend of the Radiant Lady. And if I were an evil overlord, I would employ assassins and bounty hunters that only work for the money. Those who work for the thrill of the hunt tend to do stupid things, like even the odds to give their victims a sporting chance. And also, I would have all repair work done by an in-house maintenance staff. Any of these repairmen who show up at my door will be immediately escorted to the dungeon. What's up guys, I'm a son of Benedict. And on my channel, you can find me discussing Christian and Catholic themes in video games, from Dark Souls to Resident Evil to everything in between. However, if I were an evil overlord, my legions of terror will have uniforms designed by a talented fashion designer, and will not be a cheap knockoff of the Nazi SS uniform, the Roman foot soldier, or the clothing of savage Mongol hordes. All such groups are eventually defeated, and I want my troopers to have a more positive outlook about themselves. And no matter how much I desire vengeance, I will never issue the order, leave him, he's mine to kill, or otherwise tell my army of minions to back down when I have the hero trapped. The interior decor of my fortress will not feature pointy objects I could be impaled upon if I'm knocked off balance or stumble backwards during a fight, and on that note, I will also not have convenient bottomless pits to be thrown down like Palpatine in the Death Star. And last, but not least... The colors of my empire will not be red and black, like every other evil empire in video game history, from the Brotherhood of Nod and Command and Conquer, to the Hellgast and Killzone, to everyone else. Hi, my name is Philip Kozleski. I'm the founder of Voyage Comics. We are a comic book company whose mission is to create exceptional entertainment informed by Catholic values that inspires people to live a heroic life. My legions of terror will have helmets with clear space-age plastic faceplates that allow the troopers to see clearly and allow others to identify the trooper by sight. I will not have a daughter, although she would certainly be as evil as she is beautiful. Once she sees the hero's rugged good looks, she will no doubt betray me to him. My stronghold or doomsday device won't have a self-destruct button unless it is absolutely necessary. If necessary, the big red button marked DANGER, DO NOT PUSH, will instead trigger a spray of bullets onto anyone stupid enough to disengage it. If I were an evil overlord, I will not indulge in the practice of maniacal laughter. If I were an evil overlord and I had a fortress, I'm not going to design the hallways so that, so that there are small alcoves or random protruding structural supports because people can use them as cover during a firefight. If I were an evil overlord, I will not require high-ranking female staff members to wear metal bikini armor and high-heeled boots. Morale is much better with a more practical, modest, and, well, comfortable dress code. When I capture the hero, I will also make sure I capture his pet ferret, monkey, bird, parrot, dog, whatever. Whatever cute creature follows the hero around, I will capture them too, 
because they have an annoying tendency to fetch keys or loosen ropes, bite through ropes, that sort of thing. The entrance to my stronghold will have doors that are, well, normal sized. 20 foot tall doors impress the masses and can be really artistic and beautiful, and they really show just how rich and powerful I am. But in the case of an emergency, those doors are going to be very hard to close. If a messenger comes in delivering bad news, I will not simply fly into rage and kill them, just to prove how evil I am. I want to make sure I give a big shout out to everyone who took part in this. You'll find the links to their YouTube channel, blog, podcast, social media, etc. in the description. Follow them all. They're all great. So here we go. We had Mike Teeny of Awakened Catholic. He did Pop Culture Catechism. You have the Catholic Nerds Podcast. And then specific shout out to Scott Smith, who kind of leads the whole thing. He has his own blog. It does all a bunch of stuff. It's great. You have the Catholic Gaming Nerd. And then we also have the channel, YouTube channel, Son of Benedict. Definitely check him out as well. And of course, you had Voyage Comics. Highly recommend Voyage Comics as well. 